Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the pristine, untouched wilderness of the Calmlands. But if we were trying to use a built-in version of course play into the game or the AI vehicle extension, which was my favourite one, where it's going around the edge of the field, I feel that trying to get that to work bug-free for like our version and also the console version, because you've got to remember that this game is built for consoles as well as PC. I don't want to be hearing any nonsense about, well, the console should have a different game or they should just put up with it. Or No, this game is built for consoles and for PC. And part of the reason that this game does so well is because of all the many, many thousands of mods that are available. The other part of the reason that this game does so well is because of consoles. Because of the massive amount of money that giants make selling the game to the console owners. And that's fine. Like, they've got to be able to pay their bills as well. I've got bills I've got to pay. And so do the people that work at Giants. So, in order to be able to pay their bills, if they can sell it to the console players, if and that allows, like, there's more of us. There's more of us that can play together. That's just a good thing. I cannot see any issue with that. Um, so, yeah, in order to be able to make all of this stuff work properly for everybody... It becomes a lot more difficult. And so, yeah, I, I kind of do sometimes feel that the complaints leveled are a teensy bit unfair. Now, anyway, I need to buy nine more pigs. See, if I go in here, we are buying nine. See, it's, it's nine at a time. So I want to go over to here. It's the Bentime Black Pied. It would be these. And they cost me 2,070 euros. I don't have 2,070 euros. I am um, 2,590 euros away from owning 2,070 euros. So I'm, I'm very much in the opposite direction. I'm going to carry this wheat over here. See this right here. It says that we've got 100 kilos of wheat. 1,000 litres of it. We can move this around by hand. I mean, yeah, we, you know, 100 kilos is a fair weight. But what we're doing is we're putting it into a wheelbarrow. We shovel out half of it into a wheelbarrow and move along. There's only 50 kilos. You can pick up 50 kilos in a bag without too much trouble. Well, yeah, it takes a bit of effort, admittedly, but it, you can still do it. All right, trust me on this. I speak from experience. I'm going to use that tractor. And we're going to move these eggs. And then we'll be able to buy the next round of pigs. But what I'm going to do first, actually, so I'm going to come back down here. 30, 60, 120, 240, 360. See, I'm skipping the time forward by one hour so that we drop out the next little bit of eggs. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Down here a second. Oh, it doesn't change on the hour, does it? It just, it this, this kind of changes up. 1,179, that's pretty good. Let's go back to speed again boom there right we didn't get a huge amount of eggs turn up and the price is now 1180 so i mean i could leave it until a little bit later the price is just going to keep climbing today but i'm not going to so there's 335 liters of eggs on there and then these are 1400 euros uh, 1400 liters a piece so we've got three we've got 5000 5200 liters of eggs at over 1100 so we're looking at 15 close to uh, 55 yeah no i don't want to cut that get into the tractor that's what i'm trying to do um what's it saying i was trying to work it out i reckon we're going to get about six thousand euros from selling those eggs which is brilliant because that's enough to keep us going to buy the pigs today and also, it should be enough to buy the pigs tomorrow as well. Um, also, what I'm thinking is I will. I'd like to buy the pigs first thing in the morning, but we literally have nothing else to do. So if we buy the pigs later on in the day, we still end up by tomorrow with the pigs at the same age and the same value. It's just that they, well, newborn pigs don't eat anything at all. Like It's a couple of liters, so the amount of food is not making any difference. But we will have more eggs that we can sell from here. And that's the kind that's the bit that is a little bit crucial. Also, also 
How are we doing up here? We have now got 500 litres of oats, 585 litres of sorghum. Sorghum flour, is, it does 15 at a time. So even now it's not really... We'll just leave that one ticking over and fill up a little bit more. We won't, we won't bother turning that one on just yet. It's pointless turning it on anyway. Because we're on that minus 520. Now, I brought that trailer out. Oh no, I'm not going to get the pig food. I was talking about getting the pig food. And then I had a big long reason as to why I wasn't. And then I was literally just thinking, why am I getting this trailer out? Because I want to go and get the pig food. So I don't want to be having this trailer out. No, 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 I don't want to do that. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to bring down the other pig food. So I'm going to have this sped right up to 360 times speed. And we're just going to allow time to tick by until much later on. And what I'm hoping is that, that is going to see the eggs. that they're, they're, they're scrambling up in value right now. This, this is awesome. So we're wanting to wait here until late in the afternoon i'm not jumping up and down on the eggs that is a figment of your imagination right i've run it through until five o'clock i've now got 1266 on that pallet so we've got a fair bit more and the price has now gone up to 1262 which is rather nice it's going to keep going up even higher but i do need the money for the pigs so i'm just going to gather up these four pallets right here and we're going to run them off and sell them I need to change you over because you're currently on loading our big bag. So I'm going to go through all these round bales, square bales, 240 euro pallet. That's what I want. Load up those four right there. So I have 5,466 litres of eggs that we can now go and take. The pallet spawner there for the soybeans is full but that doesn't really matter we'll take that off later the eggs don't go into that storage which is good we don't want them doing that and down we go our crops are growing in our field which is amazing and awesome that's what we want this tractor is at least able to drive around without too much trouble so this is the one that we need to use for a little bit uh, even though the John Deere is a nice comfortable tractor and it, it, it is a rather good one to be driving around with unfortunately it's just not quite suitable for what we want so that one's going to have to not be the ferry I, I think it was because maybe the other tractor I thought the other tractor was fast is it faster is that a 50k box this this is a 40k box anyway so we'll, we'll just use this one for now it's not too bad and we can go and get all of our i said it was going to be about six thousand, but obviously we've got another thousand liters of eggs now so i reckon it's gonna be about seven grand so that's more than enough to get the pigs today and also the pigs tomorrow it may be enough to cover the pigs for the final day that we need to go and get pigs maybe I don't know about that because we do have our daily expenses to go out as well. So there is always the possibility that they won't cover that. Um, plus there's other things that I do want to go and buy. Three hundred there, Right, that's all of it. 6,300. By the time we have our daily expenses go out. So we, we got seven grand almost. 6,908 euros for that. Um, but because we were in negative equity when we started off we have 6383 euros to our name and it's may now which means that in the morning we're going to have a shake of the dice again and that is always a bit of a gamble we have a random event turning up for the beginning of june now, I don't think we've got any crops that are going to need to be dealt with, planted, anything else like that this month, uh, next month. So if we have a sick worker come up again, which could very well happen, um, at least that's not something we're going to need to worry about because we're not going to actually have any hired help work that's going on, which that is awesome. That That is really, really good. So at least we won't have to worry about that because the, the sick worker is only for one month. We only ever have a sick week. I mean, you've you got to be pretty badly laid up if it's more than four weeks. That's that's pretty bad luck, that is. And that kind, that level of bad luck is beyond the scope of this series. We're, we're not going to address that kind of luck. That's just We're just going to pretend that that doesn't happen. Let's go up here. 
That trailer is starting to get a little bit grubby. I might just park this tractor here so it's ready to hose down. And you know what? Let's let's hose it down anyway. Yeah, we're a little bit of a drive around. Over to you. That one's now clean. This trailer is on 30%. It's been used a little bit. We haven't hosed it off in a little while. It's starting to get a bit grubby. I mean, we are taking in eggs to the shop every now and then, so it's probably a good idea for us to clean it up a bit. And how are we for the chickens for food? I looked at that lately. Uh, 6,300 in here at the moment. We are going to end up having to buy some more chicken feed at some point. Oh, wait. Don't go to bed yet. All of that was to buy pigs, which I still haven't done. Nearly forgot. I'm a bit distracted. I was watching some magic tricks earlier. Um, so I was just kind of thinking about magic tricks. And, like, it, there's some really cool magic tricks where they just literally make something disappear in front of you. I, I like that. That's, that's probably my favorite magic trick is where something just disappears in front of you. It, it's really cool. And, like, you, you look at it as many times as you like. And you repeat this thing over and over and over. And you, it, it's just fascinating to watch. As it just disappears, and yeah, uh, so I, I was it, I was thinking about that in the back of my head, and it kind of distracted me a bit. Right, I have now bought the pigs. We will be able to buy next month's pigs without any problem, and then the month after that is the final instalment of pig buying that we need to do, and then we can start selling pigs every month at the maximum price, and that is the target. That is the aim that we're, we're aiming for. It is a bright, shiny new morning, and as you can see, we're down to 3,794 euros, which means, ladies and gentlemen, that we are not going to be able to buy our pigs next month until we have sold a few eggs. Now, we have more eggs coming in. I've got 5,000 litres of food still. I'm doing all right there at the moment. Uh... I've got a thousand liters of each of these, so I'm now going to activate them. We're going to activate oat flour. And we're going to activate sorghum flour. So those are both going to run for a little while. Give us a bit more flour in here. And then we're going to go here to the eggs. We're on 1,361 this morning. June gives us an even better price. Uh, soybeans, that is June as well. So tomorrow we want to sell eggs and soybeans. That's going to get us our money, even if we don't get them just yet. So I'm just going to bring that pallet of eggs back over here. They're going to stay there. I will travel over this way. Uh, you're absolutely fine for food as well. Food and water is fine with the pigs. No issues there. And bye. Yep. Okay. If I had room for two more pigs in here, I could have been doing ten at a time instead of um, nine at a time. But this is all right. This is all right. So... All of this is going really well. Uh, if you look here, 420. It's the maximum reproduction there is on 50%. So two more months. So next month I buy one more lot when the reproduction on the most valuable one is at 75%. Uh, Currently I get 3,300 if I sell these. Um, then the following month they will give birth. So they will bring us our last nine pigs to take us up to 90 and then we sell these off at the maximum price, whatever that's going to be. So we're almost there now. Almost there. We've almost hit that magic spot. And I'm going to take these. And I'm going to perform a magic trick of my own. I'm going to make it disappear. Are you ready for this? I want you to watch very carefully. We're going to go on around here. And then it's just going to slide in there. And... Boom, it's disappeared. Just like that. How perfect is that? 6,000 litres of chicken food. Now, I haven't actually got anything else that I want to do. So I'm just going to speed up to like 120 at the moment. And I'm then going to go over here and have a look at this because I want to see the numbers. So we've got 472 in here. And the oat and sorghum is... What are they doing in here? Seven four five nine two two. So they're both ticking down. They are both actually going. And then this one down here is got that one's already spawned. This one's running through it very quickly. It's actually going to take very long to use up everything in there. So I don't need to be running this mill all the time. It just doesn't need to be running all the time. 
that field up there is the canola. That is not yet ready to harvest, but it is in flower. And I think this always... I, I really like seeing the oilseed rape fields in full flower. I think they look amazing. I really do. I've always liked seeing the rapeseed fleet the 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 the, the, the rape rape the rapeseed fields, the canola fields. They they just look fantastic. Look at that. Especially good when you've got like patchworks of them. Some places I've been they grow uh what's the blue flower? Is that lavender? I don't think no, lavender's purple, isn't it? Uh what's the blue flower? Corn corn. Flax. Flax is the blue one. I've seen it in a few places. And you have the rapeseed fields and flax fields together. And the, the blue and yellow flowers, it just looks amazing. It, it really does. Um, you don't see it all that much. Like the, the Way more of this growing in the fields than there is flax. Like it, You don't see a large amount of that. But there is some that you will see hanging around. It is the evening of June now, and we are at 1324 for the cooperative for soybeans. Eggs down here on 1370. And even though it does say it's like it's in red, I don't think it's actually come down very much. So we want to load up some of those, and we also want to load up soybeans. If we take a look in the soybeans in here, you will see we've got 9,000. We could do with moving some more water over. Um, we've got 1,800 in there, so there's one more pallet to spawn out after we load that lot up. So we're going to go and get our tractor and trailer up here. And we are going to load up all of this. We're going to take it off and sell it. And then we have got... In here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lots of these. And we are ready now to sell, uh, to buy the final lot of pigs. There's eight lots right there. I need lot number nine. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and get the soybeans before I get the eggs, because otherwise we're stacking soybeans on top of eggs. I don't think that's going to work very well. And also, I don't want to bring the soybeans over here because I think the pallets will end up tipping out into there. I don't want to do that. So let's go up here like this. There, that was the extra one that we wanted to hook up. Uh, that's 9,000 liters. There was eight out. Yeah, that's right. Um, no. Here. Soybeans. 857, so we've got one more pallet. So, I mean, we could always go and get that extra pallet next time. But I'm not going to worry about it. Then I want to come over here. So, they both go to the cooperative. Both of these lots, they go to the same place. Now look in here. Eggs, cooperative, and then the other one was cooperative as well. So, we take all of this to the same location... I don't want to be going and getting flour or anything like that. So, I mean, that can stay there now and just keep producing soybeans. We've got, like, we, we may want to get some more sugar beets being produced from there at some point, but we don't need to at the moment. And really, the sugar beet wouldn't be being produced until such time as we have gotten our next pig pen because we've got enough food at the moment and there's also a little bit of sugar beet left over that is still able to be used so we've we've got more than enough pig food to keep us going quite a while don't need to worry about that at all and then i got three pallets of flour right there did i turn those off again have a look. As soon as I pull in around here, I'll have a look at the mill and see if I did actually turn those things off again. But look at all of this that we've got. There's a lot of soybeans right there, which is a lot of money. There's we, We've got a lot of money coming in now. This bit right here, this, this is going to get us a decent amount of cash. So we are going to be able to do well out of this. Quite what we get with this, whether we save up when we do the pigs as the first thing, or we try and, I mean, like, I want to repair the tractor and little things like that, and 
there's other thing like that there are some other things that I'd rather do so I'm selling right here I don't seem to be selling oh I'm only selling the eggs at the moment and it's not selling the top pallet of eggs Right, well, there's 2,300. I think that's because i got to bring it round to this side. Because it's the same bit. So I've just got, I've got to bring it into this one. Yeah, there we go. And that sells it all straight away. <laughs> Boom, look at that. 11,000. So 12, we were a fraction off of 12,000 euros for that. I've got one pallet left. It is... A magic pallet. So I'll bring that one back down over here. Maybe now it doesn't have the soybeans in. Yeah, because it doesn't have the soybeans in the way anymore. It's going to sell that one. So this is putting us up to 1,700 and... It's the grand total. Almost. one uh, eight, 1,700. Almost 17,000. Uh, almost 18,000. 18,000 euros. That's a decent amount of money. Right, we're, we've actually got a decent quantity of cash here for once. So we can repair the John Deere. That's, that it does feel to me like it's the most important thing. Um, something that I did actually forget to do at the beginning of the day was shake the dice. So we'll do that now. I do apologize. I completely forgot about that. Um, I have things on my mind lately and I am sometimes so we're gonna just roll the dice a one to a 16 means we just take a pick off of our um, list right here uh, if it's 17 18 19 or 20 it has to be re-rolled so uh, I have rolled and that is a 13 a 13 that's uh, 15 16 13 14 13, 13, 14 is loan from friend. So we have got a loan from a friend, which is essentially a 5,000 euro loan. That's what we said for that one. So we can go in here and we pay it back as and when we want. So we can do one click of the borrow and we can borrow 5,000 euros when we need it. So that well, well, we'll borrow it now and we'll pay it back as and when we want to. Um, we've got five grand in loan right there, which puts us at 22 and a bit thousand, almost 23,000. Now, I do want to repair the tractor. That is something that I want to do. But also, the most time consuming thing that we have at the moment. The combining and that, it does take a little while to do, but it's not, like, ridiculous. Um, the most time-consuming thing that we have currently is the sowing of the seed. Now, we've got one of these. That one. We've got that one there. It's a four-meter drill. It does uh, 15K in the field. So, I mean, it does drill reasonably quickly but still i feel that we want something that's a bit faster a bit more efficient it would be nice to be able to buy something better um that's a no till forty-one thousand. that's like really stupidly expensive there's one that i recently got in the time lapse series which i don't think is actually in here um, and it, no, it's not. It's really cool, though. It does actually work. These we tried. That didn't do us any good. Um, oh, this is a, a Stevie Edits. We don't want Stevie Edits. Not in a series. Um, unfortunately, all the seed drills are just too expensive for us. We've got basically the best option that we can get for at the moment. Unless we go with something like that, which is direct drill. So that skips out the cultivating step, at least. But, I mean, this one's only three meters wide. This one is also three meters wide. See, like, we really are. We, we, we've we pretty much got the best of the... Best of the bunch at the moment. I need to activate some more of the seed drill mods. That's, that's mainly what I need to do. Because um, I'm a bit limited on choice right here. 
Because I can go and get something like that. I mean, that's 45,000. This would be our best bet, I would think, for a direct drill. It does 15K, same as the other one. It needs 100 horsepower to pull it. So that's not a bad machine, and it's also direct drill. So that's, that's a definite possibility. But it's 29,000 euros. I would rather save our money and get the, um, the upgraded pig pen. But I've been thinking about this. And I've been talking about selling the pig pen that we've got and getting another one. Why? Why have I been thinking of doing that? I don't actually need to do that. What I could do instead... Oh, you know what I just thought also? Um, I may have made a mistake. Oh no, zero months. We did get those this time. All right. Never mind. Um, yeah. What I was also thinking is uh, we've got... Ooh, we should have some lights. Um, we've got this pig pen right here, and I wanted to change it to another pig pen so that then I could start getting some dung from there in order to um, be able to charge the greenhouses with it and make grow better stuff, make, grow, well, grow increased quantities of stuff in greenhouses. But it has just occurred to me, why do I need to do that? We we kind of wanted to do things on a bigger scale around here. That's not a bigger scale. If I was to keep that one and get a second pig house, which could go up behind that one, there is room there and we have got that, like, we own that bit of land up there, so we we have actually got space for it as well. We could go and stick another one up there, and that would work really well. That that would actually work quite nicely. If we can get 50 grand saved up and get another one. Now, I mean, we're about to get the last lot of pigs. Turn off that beacon. Turn off the lights. You can stay there, Mr. Tractor. We'll be getting the last lot of pigs in the morning. We go here. Sleep. I think the canola is going to be ready to harvest now. Well, it might not be, actually. Is canola ready to harvest in July, or is that later? Let's have a look. Let's go and have a look. Canola is... Nope, it's not. Right. July is not the time for harvesting canola. Definitely not the time for harvesting oats or corn. So, we've got another month. We can basically... We can do this, and we can skip through another month. I've got a pallet of beans there. I could go and sell. It's a little bit more money. The price is still going to be pretty good for beans at the moment. It won't have come down much yet. Um, eggs is down a little tiny bit. Uh, soybeans right here. It's still at the kind of plateau at the top, 1,220. So I could take one pallet there for another 1,200 euros. Every little bit would help, I suppose. Uh, 8,800 litres of food. So, I mean, we are starting to run a little bit low on food. And this is going to be the only kind of kicker for it. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.